I'm James French, owner of JWF Unique Designs. I am a gold stroke silversmith creating unique jewellery and items made from precious metals. I'm a customer of the London Assay Office. I chose the London Assay Office because they're the longest serving hallmarking technicians in history. Been doing it for over 700 years and I wanted to become a part of that history. When you send a piece of jewellery to the London Assay Office, you have multiple choices. You have three hallmarks which you have to have on there. The who made it, what it's made from and where it's been hallmarked. Then you apply your sponsor's mark. This year, obviously, you've got the option to have the Platinum Jubilee mark to celebrate Her Majesty the Queen being on the throne for 70 years. I left school at 15 years old. I went into a joinery apprenticeship. I went self-employed at the age of 20, by which time I'd set up my own joinery shop and started creating unique pieces of bespoke joinery for clients. Eight years ago I started making jewellery out of silver and I've just grown that business slowly but surely through working hard, long hours, often doing the jewellery in the evenings, just pushing it to see if I could get it going. When I first started experimenting with jewellery, it's always been self-taught, finding methods that work for me. Started off making spoon rings and then taught myself how to cast, experimenting. I made this I made this sword to cut my wedding cake out of stainless steel, buffalo horn, bronze and silver wire, with a copper inlay. I decided to make Her Majesty the Queen a brooch as a token for her platinum jubilee. This is about the only piece that I've ever designed on paper before I've started to make it. So as you can see I've, I've included the, the dates of the reign, the amount of years that she's been on the throne, her initials and the crown at the top there. And so then I've continued to apply that to the wax cast mould, engraving by hand a 3D ER to Elizabeth II to stand out of the piece. And then I've set in the engraving of the dates and the other details. I think the most difficult part I've had to overcome creating jewellery is teaching myself how to do the casting. I think it's the fear factor, you know, you won't ever have a 100% success rate. So you have to just have that confidence to crack on and, yeah, just have to keep trying until you've mastered it really. This is token powder, just to stop the two sides sticking together. And then I position the ring that we like to cast in there. I carefully press it half into the mould. The jewellery that I make is very rustic, almost resembling ancient jewellery, medieval style with textures and imperfections. I've always liked the look of hallmarks and the design of them. So I tend to use that as a key feature on my jewellery design, as opposed to having them tiny and hidden away. I like them to be a statement piece. This is obviously a very special occasion and having the London Asso office apply the Jubilee mark to all my pieces this year will be an absolute honour. <laughs>